So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in create and format hard disk partitions. Click on it. And now once you're on this, there could be a chance that your SSD is gonna be seeing unallocated on it. So if it does say that, you wanna right click on it and then click on new simple volume. And then you wanna follow along with all of these steps. So you're gonna click on next, click on next again, set your drive letter, click on next, set your file system, set the name, and then click on next, and then click on finish. Hopefully that'll fix your problem. And now for the second method, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna expand disk drives, and then you wanna find your SSD. You wanna right click on it, and then click on update driver, and then click on search responsive for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for the device installed. You could also go back, and then click on browse my feed for drivers, and then click on every pick from a list, and then you can install the one that will come up here. Click on it, and then click on next, and then install it. It's going to say that your hardware settings have changed, you must restart your computer, so click on yes, then restart your computer, see if that works for you. And now for the next method, you want to head over to search and type in CMD, then you want to run as administrator. Click on yes. Now once you're on this, you want to type in msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostic. Click on enter. And now this will come up, click on next. And then you just want to follow through with this, follow the steps and hopefully that'll fix your problem. And now for the last method, you just want to simply take out your SSD from your computer and then plug it back in again. Make sure that it's properly connected. 